We're going to be going over the numbers on a six-unit apartment building. So if you've ever wanted to buy commercial real estate in another state or just have it passively ran for you, you're going to want to stay tuned to today's show from my man, Garrett. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holden Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. This is the show where we work together one-on-one, -on -one, right? You guys, me, my team, help you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolio, right? You guys reach out to us, sales at holdenwise.com. You give us your phone number. We give you a call. We talk to you. Figure out your wants, your needs, your goals, your budget, what you're trying to do, and then you'll get videos like this. They're sent to you privately until the dust is settled, till the deals are done. Then I release them publicly on Holton Wise TV for everybody to learn for free. So unless you're Garrett... Uh, the property that we're going to be talking about today, it's not currently for sale, right? And that uh, brings me to the man of the hour, my man Garrett. Garrett, this is uh, the second video I filmed for you today, right? I told you I would get you all these videos before Thanksgiving. So I'm filming three videos for you today, okay? The reason I'm doing three, right? You requested that I do two, uh, but you gave me a laundry list of things you wanted to accomplish. Has to be at least five units, has to be a million dollars or less, has to be in a C-class neighborhood, has to be all residential, no retail, right? Those are the things that you told me you wanted to do. And you said, find me two. Well, there isn't any properties available that meets all of those criteria that you give me, right? So I wanted to give you three, the three closest, because every single property I do for you is going to fall a little bit short, right? Uh, but that, you know, you can't buy what doesn't exist, right? So... Uh, this brings me to my second one, right? The first one, badass 13-unit building. No retail. Passes the, the neighborhood grade, right? Great neighborhood. Uh, where we missed it, though, it had more than five units. And where we missed it, though, was the price point, right? You're going to have to spend more than that milli. What we got here, though, this particular one, this is going to check all the boxes except for the neighborhood grade, right? That's where you're going to have to make that concession, right? This is a six-unit building, okay? All of them are retail. The price point, well under a million, 250K, although we're going to talk about that price here shortly. 3229 West 73rd, Cleveland, 44102. Where this falls short is with that address, though, right? This is what I would consider to be currently a D-class neighborhood. Now, I do like this neighborhood because it's close to Metro Health. Metro Health, they're investing a billion dollars in the, in the campus and the surrounding area. So you inject a billion dollars into a low-income area. Over time, I would expect things to improve. But I would be lying to you if I told you today I would classify this property as a C-class property. It is, it's not. It's a very old, old uh, building. Now, it's, it's been all converted to, retail, or, uh, to residential. At one point, these were probably retail storefronts, right? But there's not a lot of like small storefront businesses successfully operating over here. So what many of the owners of these types of buildings did many years ago is they converted them to apartments so what we have is six apartments now the agent was very sparse uh, with the amount of information they gave us right this is all the pictures we had and as far as the units themselves we got a rent roll but we did not get the bed bath count however based upon the size of the building okay pretty big building it is where is the square footage on this right here seven thousand 478 square feet and the rent roll I'm gonna guesstimate with, with pretty reasonable certainty that all four of these units are gonna be two ones okay and the rent roll is gonna be 600 for five of them 650 for the fifth so 3650 43,800 and I'm like 80 percent sure that those are all gonna be two ones now the cool thing is there's gonna be a little bit of upside because those being two ones you're going to be able to have a market rent of 750 a unit. However, 
based upon <laughs> what I'm seeing on the outside of the building and uh, some of the things that she said in the description, like a lot of the tenants have been there for many years, which is great because you're not getting turnovers. But what that also means, you take a building that looks pretty worn out from the outside and you have long-term tenants, that means all your units are going to need updating, right? So if you want to get from the 600 to the 750, you could slowly increase the rents and hope the tenants don't move out. Or uh, you could try to go all the way up right away, but no that that's going to probably increase your turnover rate. And if you got to turn these units over, I anticipate you spending at least five, six grand updating each of these units, okay? Because we're looking at, uh, you know, fairly big units, right? We got over a 1,000 square feet uh, into each one of these units, okay? So with all that said, let's talk about that price, 250000 Now, the agent... Uh, she did her write up here, okay, and then they they gave us some monthly numbers and uh what they have come out to us with is they are claiming that this building is a 9 cap at the purchase price of $250,000, okay? They're saying there's going to be approximately $15,500 of expenses. I don't buy that, okay? I'm not calling the agent a liar. Maybe the owner gave him like one month of uh, numbers or, or this or that. I don't know what the story is, but I tell you what. Owning as many buildings as I have owned, ha having as many tenants like this, managing as many properties as we've managed, that that is not a reasonable expectation of any type of long-term performance. Instead, what a reasonable expectation of long-term performance would be would be thirty six fifty coming in. 43,800 for the year, but instead of spending 15 and a half for the year, I think you're going to spend over 31,000. I think you're going to spend almost $32,000, right? That is what I think you're going to be spending. That leaves you with an NOA that is NOI that is much smaller, right? The NOI here for the long term is going to be 12,036. Now, at their asking price, that would be a 4.8 cap. Right, So I think that would be priced a little bit too high. I would like to see you pay no more than 215000 Right, If you pay 215000 for this, you're going to be getting a cap rate of 5.6, which it's a higher risk building. It looks a little older. Uh, I don't anticipate having a lot of newer mechanicals in there. Right, They even talked about it a little bit. She's saying... Newer hot water tanks, okay? But then she's also saying full to the stud reno 10 to 12 years ago, right? Well, guys, hot water tanks, they have a life expectancy of 15 years. <laughs> so you can't claim it's newer when it looks to me like they've been replaced 10 to 15 years ago. So that's, that's, that's actually older, right? You're right at the end. And then, you know, to the stud reno, I, you know, it's it's a pretty dilapidated looking building, honestly. And then, you know, twelve years ago, guys, like that might sound new to you, but like if you have a unit that hasn't been updated in twelve years, that's an outdated unit, right? So I would anticipate uh your hot water tanks and stuff all towards the end of their life cycle, and then of course your furnaces, if they were all done around ten to twelve years ago, you're, you know, right about half, half of your life expectancy, right? Because those are going to last about 30 years, okay? And just so you guys know, 1000 bucks that's what it costs to replace a hot water tank. 3000 bucks that's about what it costs to replace a furnace, right? So with all that said, taking into account the fact that the building, a little bit, you know, a little bit you know, worse for wear. We got outdated units, things of that nature. We got a, a big old flat roof on there. Are you a lender? If so... Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. They said they did a little bit of work. It looks like 10 to 12 years ago on it, but you got to check those out, right? You got to check those flat roofs out with your, your home inspector because a lot of people, what they do is is these flat roofs, they continue to layer over and over on top of it. You like put new tar and, and new rubberized stuff like on top of the roof, right? And you know, 100 year old building, okay? People just continue to put that stuff over on top of it. But again, eventually you'll get to the point 
uh, where the roof is too heavy. It can no longer support layering it up over and over for 100 years, right? So eventually what you have to do is you have to cut down and remove it all and totally replace it. It does not look like that was done 10 years ago, right? Uh, most people, when they say they did work on these roofs, they mean they just like layered over it, right? Which is something you got to do like every five to 10 years. So I would definitely want, if you wanted to move forward with this deal, I'd want my home inspector to look at that roof very closely. But uh, with all that said, all those things into account, I think the building in today's market is worth about 215000 right? 215000 puts it at a present day cap of five six, And you do know that the market rate for those units is six fifty or seven fifty a unit, actually, which definitely would add some money to the bottom line. In addition, it is in a neighborhood that I like quite a bit. Even though it's D-class, I like it quite a bit because Metro Health is investing a billion bucks in there, right? So checks off some of your boxes. Not all your boxes. That's why, again, I'm doing three for you today. I want to give you as much to look at and take in so you can make an appropriate decision. What I'm going to do now is get working on your third video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.